So, headed back in the direction of Fae Keep, right? Yes. Horsey ride! Horsey ride! Horsey ride! Uh, so... Oh, 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 you oh, God, wanna... I've be... oh God, I've got to be sick. <laughs> Pull over, dudes! <laughs> Just do it off the side! <laughs> I love that the uh, arrow leaves the path while running. How can you be it's sick? Not... You are literally a cloaked animal. Uh, cloaked animal. Hey, I don't judge by the formation of your feet, little dudette. Okay, did you want to stop at the trade outpost or just head on straight back? I think head straight back. Dan is, uh, is trying very hard not to look at the horse, so she's doing more mending. And Phoenix uh, is at the uh, front because he, he likes the thing. And Hyacinth is walking with the horse because one, Jew, and two, she's too big to fit in the cart. Oh, I mean, uh, makes sense. I know, but it's cute. It's very, it's very sweet. The horse probably enjoys having the company. Okay, there goes last night's party, bras. Oh, sorry Good. about your shoes, dude. Hey, uh, branches, can you do anything about about him? I have known him for years. Do you think if I could, I would I would have done something earlier? Well, I mean, can you give him something for his stomach? Come on. Uh, DM, Medicine. what should I roll? Medicine, let's hope. <laughs> nope. Hey. Let me that's try. Your, that's how your better skills Shout. likes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried. Someone's in a net one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. That, yeah. Ones. If so I get another one, <laughs> I'm like, Josh. Give me a I, I feel like whenever we're on the, the world map, we get terrible rolls. Not necessarily. I got a nat 20 on my nature roll once. Well, luckily we're leaving the world map. <laughs> All right. Pan, Pan is just so thrown off by the horse that she can't do it. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Uh, so... Do you want to head straight back to the tavern, or do you want to go to, like, a marketplace, or... Let's head to the tavern. Uh, Ronan yeah, probably I needs to be the I threw up most of it on the way here. Did we bring <laughs> any, any booze back for them? I'm going to assume that you brought at least one barrel. The rest of it will arrive in a couple of days. Okay. Okay, so... And Pan's back in the Yo, behind the counter. I just oh. kind of assumed that was where she would go automatically, so I just... Why wait? She, she, rolled the, she rolled the keg through the door and just started getting it set up. When you all come in, you see Tina um, talking to Sadiq at one end of the bar. Sadiq, uh, I'm, I apologize. I may have missed uh, him. Okay, uh, you, he's in the he's in the journal tab. Okay, right, got it. He was somebody that y'all met when the um when the cultists um came to Fake Keep. He was just there for a minute, but he was there. Ah, oh, yes. He works at the farms. Yep, got it. Thank you. Okay. Mikaya and. Okay, um, Tina, they both look up when you all come in. Ah, you're back. And she sees roll the ale keg in. You brought some ale? Wonderful. Can't have you going out of business. Or, ha or having me doing the whole dying thing again. The rest of it should be here in a few days. Wonderful. Thank you so... Dying. 
story. Uh, th there was emotional baggage. I I poked fun at Nessus a lot. So how about a drink? Uh, a funny thing about. Uh, 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 Hyacinth looks over at Tina. Apparently, satyrs need alcohol in order to survive, and a whole. What would you call it? Herd. We <clears throat> call it one big party flock. I'm going to call it a herd. Um, the herd <laughs> of satyrs, a herd of satyrs was at the town, which is, explains why there was a lack of alcohol here in Fakeheap. Oh, that makes sense. And that emotional baggage bit, uh, my, my literal fam. I see. Well, a couple of things have happened here while you've been gone. Mm -hmm. For one, we've noticed a, dr we've noticed a decrease in the number of Mutated cultists that have been roaming around. That's good, but also puzzling. Yeah, and the second thing, and Sadiq was just telling me this, they've opened the road back to Tem Seat, which is the area which is the area south of Old Coast. Mm. Oh yeah, didn't no, didn't Saya say that the road there was closed because of bandits? That wait a minute, correct. there was a wait a minute, there was a problem that we didn't have to fix. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's like a first for us, dudes. Yeah. Well, uh, Pan oh looks over God. at Hyacinth. Was was one of your was one of your. Uh, and see the alarms pointing us south? Yes, it was. We had one to the north, one to the south, and one that kept moving, so I couldn't get a clear location. Could, could that have been the Grand Plains one? Uh, uh DM? No. Nature. Okay. Oh, uh, hold up. There's for the Plains love of God. Know. Better. Good enough. Luckily, okay. you're searching for something you've sensed before, so you don't need to roll as high. Okay. Yay! The one that was moving around was not the plain Sealy. No. Oh, it interesting. It wasn't. Hmm. Well, I mean, we could go north and south. At least that we is... Did, no, the northeast, the northeast one was the plain Sealy. The one we oh, just saw. Sorry, you said... Oh, you just you said north. I didn't hear the east part. Yeah, I I forgot. Oh, north. Um, but yes, there's the south. I also felt a presence out in the ocean, but we don't have a boat ready yet for that. Personally, I would rather well. handle the land, the land sealy first before we head out to the ocean. True. We could also check on the boat's progress since we'd have to go past all the coast to get to Thames Seat. Is very true. Hmm. And the going and going south will be easier to point a location rather than the one that keeps moving. Hmm. True. And Dogi, were you saying something? I'm sorry, you were very quiet, so I couldn't hear you yeah. until it was too late. Phoenix was about to suggest going after the one that's flitting about because it's around Ho Oak Haven, and Oak Haven is closer, so uh, you I mean, might already kind of be told that, so never mind. Well, it's not decided. Out of character is Tyus become is going to become like this giant green radar. Pretty much. Flitting one. Okay, no, this way. <laughs> Have you not noticed that by now? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're the Sealy Raider, I'm the Danger Raider. And I'm well, the one who patches you all up. <laughs> We're the Raider Since gang, okay? Hyacinth looks to the group. 
Well, we've got two more before we have to head out to see. We got the south and we got the moving target. Which ones do you think we should go for? Uh, Raymond sighs. Much fun as as chasing around some vague fey signal sounds. The fact that it keeps moving around makes me think that we could chase it forever and never catch it. And what if it decides it just wants to leave? It just wants to leave Oakhaven anyway. And at the same time, at the same time, this could be the closest it might be. However, if we go to the south, we could always ask that Steely if he knows how to get in contact with moving one. True. Then I say we should head south. We'll be able to kill two birds with one stone with also checking on the boat. I would ask I would ask to accompany you if you are going south. I do intend to visit my family, so it would be nice to have travel companions. I don't see a problem with that. Sure. Uh, Phoenix, Bata, Hoopla, your thoughts? Uh, Simon? None of, none of you have said a, anything. If it's, all, yeah. if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to abstain from this vote. All right, well, your choice. Tyson looks over at Ronin, Hoopla, and Bata. Well, I go with what I go with what, what the Crown of Righteousness, cur formerly known as Hoopla, says, dudes. Uh, Why am I suddenly being pressured? I don't mind where we go as long as we fix the problem. The Bata crown po has broken. The crown has spoken. Bata uh, pokes uh, Hoopla with his stick. It's just like um. Yeah, she's my voice, too. Yes. I hope you don't feel too... Well, the, <laughs> the voice of Bata and Ronan! She, uh, uh, she proclaims by standing on top of uh, Ronan's head like like she's literally standing on his horns. I am the voice! And I say... We, fi we go fix the problem! Yeah. Hyacinth Phoenix? nods and says, Alright, then we go south. Then under her breath, she says in Druidic, and I'm just going to translate it for everyone, just for comedic effect. She says in Druidic, My god, Ronan has multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan has spoken! <laughs> but seriously, could you... But seriously, probably don't want to stand up there eh, too long, bro. I think my horns are shedding. This is the way! I have spoken! <laughs> I know that. I know this. <laughs> I understood that reference. Anyway. Uh, uh, Bato I will be back in the morning. Bato pokes Hoopla and says, You can rest on my head if his horns are tired. Very well. I will meet you at I will meet you outside the Fair Keep in the morning. Good evening. Okay. I said looks over looks over at Tina. Our usual rooms? Of course. Well, early to bed and early to rise. I think it's best if we at least start settling in. Hold it. Hmm? Something I is... Hold it. No one is going to bed on an empty stomach. You were there? Uh, Essence Wait, looks what? over and I was in sunlight and I had water. I had all the nutrients uh, I need. Don't argue with in the little bra, bra. I, I mean, your friend. Where's Phoenix going? Uh, <laughs> I was trying to say something, but there was too much going on, but he basically oh, is just gonna go make his I, horse. I'm sorry, I didn't realize ah. you were talking. You're very quiet on my end. And I'm gonna turn your volume up because you mm. use the quiet one. What's that, Max? Ooh, Ooh good roll. Phew! <laughs> Will she be able to make the tea? <laughs> okay, let's try that. Let us try the tea, dang it. Make roll a one. <laughs> oh, no. It wasn't a net one. 
It wasn't a nat one. If that had no. been a nat one, I'd be angry. <laughs> I uh, laugh even harder. <laughs> uh, ba uh, Bata, what did you say? Because literally everybody in the everybody in the party and Tina speak so. Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I forgot I was on push to talk from. <laughs> but he was, he was so, yeah, he was muttering it very quietly and only like partially, like very, very much under his breath. Oh. Hmm. Okay, hmm. fair enough. Well, yeah, I guess he can eat after he's done checking on, what did he call his horse? Tahiti? Itty. Beauty. I wanted to call her Little Buttercup. No, it's T U T. T T U T U T. I like Buttercup. See, the crown is spoken. No, he paid for the horse. He gets to name it. Its nickname is Buttercup. Hoopla okay. just, just lowers next to Ronan's ear says. Her nickname is Buttercup. Phoenix picks in and yells, If you stop calling her Buttercup, I will not let you ride in the cart. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to go horse. back in the... I don't know if I'm ready to go back in the cart, bruh. You're um, not going in the cart with tonight. the cart? Is there a problem with the cart? Okay, Phoenix out of earshot. He should be by now, yes. He said we couldn't ride in the cart. He didn't say we couldn't ride outside of it. <laughs> then he just comes back, decides to come back and yell, <laughs> Scratch that! Uh, scratch that! I'm not gonna let you pet the horse! You did it here! No cheating! You did it here! Come on! He didn't hear it, he just changed his, uh, changed his mind. Dude, the next- when you come back- Back, you're coming back after you're done feeding the horse. You need to stop that. Sorry. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not sure there's much we can. I'm not sure there's much we can do regarding his uh, motion sickness because uh, alcohol makes your motion sick. I'll. T I, we can go by the apothecary and look for hangover remedies. How about that? A remedies. Yes. It's an idea. Also, you're you're also, yes, I can turn the accent off. I just choose not to. For those, Anyways. those in the bar who didn't know. Hmm. Anyways, Pan claps twice. Sit. All but plop. Be sitting, brah. But plop. <laughs> Bata sit in a seat. She passes out the plate, okay. leaving one, uh, putting one aside for Phoenix, mm -hmm. and then uh, gives an extra plate of scones to uh, Ray. Mm -hmm. Your meal, your meal is on the side. <laughs> I typed it out for everybody. Yeah. Dude, I want scones. I'm scones. Uh, and, uh, Pan did not add any meat or the cornbread or anything. She just gave Hyacinth the squash and zucchini. Hyacinth looks down and is like, I already have my nutrients, but I'm only going to eat this because I'm being nice. And then she starts That's eating. <laughs> I understand you have all your nutrients, but taste is important as well. Yeah. Hyacinth mm -hmm. looks down at Pan and is like, You don't know much about dryad culture, do you? No, unfortunately. I've lived in a city all my life. Well, usually in dryad cultures, always take what you need. But nothing more than that. And thanks. I will start making you smaller portions. But I would... St I, I just... Mm. Pan's, Pan's eye sort of twitches. I like feeding people. Like I said, I will eat this. But only because I'm being nice. 
And I will compromise and make you a smaller portion next time. Thank you. Hmm. Out of character, I love Pan and Hyacinth's mm -hmm. dynamic. <laughs> they could be really good friends. Yeah. Hyacinth's the opposite of Feed Me, Seymour. Sheamus. <laughs> uh, basically, well, Pan... Pan is, like... Pan doesn't try and stomp all over people's, uh, culture values. But if she does see something wrong, she will say something. Yeah, it just depends on her definition of wrong. <sighs> Bad food is wrong. Religion. <laughs> Bad food is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, um it's, yeah, I, don't I think... just want to ask: Is Phoenix going to come back in time to eat, or is he going to take his food up to his bedroom? He's gonna take uh, his food on the bed. He's kind of grumpy now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna move everyone upstairs. Let's just say uh, that Hyacinth once again carries Ronan to his bed and then just throws him on it. Thank you, and Grandma. Uh -huh. And gives Phoenix his food, bids him good night, and doesn't bother him anymore. Oh. <sighs> And then she goes, you know, from door to door, tucking people in, except Hoopla, who is <laughs> going to not. Tucks Ronan in. <laughs> um, Hoopla stops next to Pan. Um. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you. I just, uh, she kind of looks really sad. Um, I just don't want to be alone. Anne's mouth opens and then closes. She takes out an extra scone that she had saved for herself and hands it to Hoopla, but then just walks without another, uh, just keeps walking, letting Hoopla follow. Oh, oh okay. She shows, oh, she shows affection with food! Leave her alone! <laughs> <laughs> she knows Hyacinth won't want to be tucked in, so she just goes in to tuck Simon. Thank you. And then ends like Raymond. Yeah. It's bedtime. Okay. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Talking. He walks in and closes the door in Pan's face. He just went in Simon's room. I regret giving him extra scones. <laughs> <laughs> she goes in and tucks in Bata, but because he's younger... I know you are probably too old for this, but I asked this every night to my master's children. Would you like a bedtime story? Um... Uh, even though Bata doesn't look at you, he sounds like he did just snap out of something. Um, thinks for a moment and, said, and sort of shrugs. And he's like, yeah, sure. Hoopla, you can come in. I'm telling a story. <gasps> so he, do he does look happier when Hooplia Hooplia Hoopla comes in the room. Hooplio. Yeah, Hoopla Hooplio. just hops in Bata's lap. <laughs> All right, once upon a time, and she starts telling the story about a hidden labyrinth and one man's determination to prove that the labyrinth was true. She changes the ending to it in that he was successful and that he was uh, uh, praised highly because she didn't want to depress them. 
Wow, okay. You're a nerd, you know that? I mean, I like Josh's stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you were referencing. Because I was going to say, Bata has never heard this story before, so he doesn't know anything is amiss. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. <laughs> it's like you're a nerd, you know that says the dungeon master. <laughs> I I'm nothing if not hypocritical. Oh yeah. Uh she <laughs> Oh, she's finished with the story. She tucks him in, kisses him on the forehead, and then Would you like to stay in here or are you going to come with me, Hoopla? Um Hoopla looks to Bata. She can stay. I I like her nearby. Okay, then Hoopla turns to Pan. Do you need company, though? No. I have more mending to do. Oh, okay. Good night. Good night! Yeah, Hoopla just goes right, right under the covers uh, next to his feet. <laughs> Just don't tickle. Oh my gosh, before. you're our dog. No, I'm a cat. <laughs> cat will be on the covers. The covers mm. are beneath her. Eh. Potato, potato. Eh, whatever. Okay, so... Is Hyacinth okay, first of all? <laughs> uh, she's... She's... She is... She'll be fine. <laughs> it's just... Busy head. Okay, so <coughs> Billy, um, you okay? Go... Yeah, yeah you all I right? Just a... I just gotta grab water real quick. Okay. It's a good it's a good point uh, to do that. So we're gonna go to Simon and Ray. I would have preferred Simon and Garfunkel, but mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. So Simon, Simon sees Ray walk in and sit on the chest. <laughs> All right. Now I'm nervous. What's so important that you have to wait until now? I just... I don't want more people hearing this than I'm okay with. All right. Kind of really personal. You see Simon kind of just <clears throat> sit up a little straighter, just almost like he's bracing himself. All right, I'm all ears. I already told you that we have in common that we used to be friends with a Karn. Yes. I didn't lie, but I kind of left out other details. Well, look, listen, if you're not comfortable telling me, you don't have to. I need to tell someone. I can't... I can't take this anymore. And... I just... I want to trust... I want to trust you guys. And... You're the one that I'm... You're the one that I trust the most so far, so... And Simon reaches under his shirt, and he pulls out the chain that you spotted earlier. And looped on the chain, you see a ring. Si Simon's eyes widen. Is that what I think it is? Mm. Depends. Do you think it's a sign of the worst kind of heartbreak a person can go through? Oh dear. Well, usually when someone has a ring around a necklace like that, it usually sim signifies some sort of broken bond. Whether by death or by betrayal. Backstabbing. I'm 
guessing it was the latter. A, a Karn and I, we were more than friends. So when you say was... more than friend, uh, uh, mm, sorry, <clears throat> I, I c continue. This is yeah, this is your time to speak. <laughs> if you're about to ask if we were a thing, yeah. We were. For over a year, in fact. How come I never saw you? Because we were in Belgate the whole time. When he, when he and I were together, I never even knew about the cult. He talked about some old friends of his once in a while, but... It really just seemed like he had forgotten he'd forgotten about his old life while he was in Belgium. Hmm. He seemed like he was happy with me. And well, I was happy with him. He treated me right, made me feel like it was okay to be what I am, because I'm not a fable. I'm not a fae. I'm not a human. I'm not an elf. It's really hard to define what I am. And he was okay with that. And he treated you like with you my mattered. personality. He treated you like you mattered. That you were safe with him. Yeah. And, well, I really thought that he was the one I was going to spend the rest of my life with. And when I found this, I found out he had been thinking the same thing, at least for a while. The reason I was asking you about any friends he might have been close with one of his old friends found him one day. They had apparently been waiting for him the entire time he was in Belgate. And seeing that friend of his again reminded him of everything that he'd forgot. He'd let himself forget. And he tried to get me to come with him. But I didn't want to. You gotta understand something, fish boy. That was the first time that I saw that side of a Karn. That anger and hatred in him. And he decided that that hatred was more important than loving me. And when I refused to come with him, and he moved his moves his hair aside. That's when he did this to me. Blimey. <laughs> when I was tossing out all of his... Not all of his crap. I found this among, among all this stuff. He was gonna ask me to marry him, Simon. Before that... That Ondo guy came and found him. He would have stayed with me. Then, if that, had, and if he had, then none of this would have even happened. <clears throat> I don't. Si Simon sits on, sits on the edge. Of, sits on the edge of the bed, closer to Ray. And you keep that ring around because you're trying to hold on to the memory of who a Karn used to be. I'm keeping this ring so I can shove it down his throat when I find him. Are you sure?
Raymond's hand tightens on the chain. But he, and he doesn't answer. I never thought I would say this, but there is a weird kinship between you and I, Raymond. Mm hmm? We both have a... We both carry a lot of resentment. Raymond looks at you and it's clear he's paying attention. I do sympathize with the feeling of wanting to feel safe. And I think for the most part, I've been a little bit luckier. But... We both have problems with someone who spurned us. So, if you ever need to talk again about it, just know that you have someone here who understands how you feel. Same to you, fish boy. All right. So, <clears throat> if it makes you feel any better, it didn't seem like Ando had any romantic attachment to a Karn. Then again, I'm not Mr. Perceptive, so again, don't take my world as gospel. Ha! Ha! Sorry, uh... Mood, what's that? Um, sorry, some obvious got stuck in my throat. <laughs> uh, but here's but here's what's my that? But here's my uh, question, Raymond. Hmm. Do you believe that there's another that? A Karn is salvageable. Raymond looks down. I... I don't know. Blast. I was hoping you had a, had a clear answer. <laughs> How would I? You've seen him more recently than I have. You know him a little better than I do. And, and I don't mean no in the sense of, like, that... Uh, shutting up. Raymond gets a mischievous smirk on his face. Do you want to know how well I know him? I, I, it's like Simon, Simon immediately just starts moving over to the covers. It's just like, oh, wow, I'm feeling a very big wave of tiredness. Good night. <laughs> oh look, I'm having another dream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Ray, <laughs> Ray laughs and then he actually steps over to the bed. Hey. Thanks for listening. Anytime. Friend. <laughs> friend. Night. Night. Yeah, Bata oh. rolled and rolled road. <laughs> rolled an oh. insight. What do I need to roll to? What are you doing? We were having a conversation. Having a conversation. <laughs> and it's very interesting. No. Oh. No, like, what's the insight for? Um. That's what I'm trying to figure out. He, he, well, he's not. He doesn't think he's. She's lying maliciously. 
she he doesn't quite buy the idea that it was a bad dream either, so he was uh, checking on it. Were you being sincere or um, stretching the truth, Hoopla? Wait, does, doesn't she have to roll to against that? Yeah, no. I have I have to know which it is before I can tell her what to roll. It's, yeah, it's, but, a, it's a bit of perception. it's a bit of both. It can't be both. Are okay. you stretching the truth, or I'm, are you she's stretching the truth? Then yeah, roll deception. Please suck. Please suck. I'm enjoying watching it. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Oh, she's not lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe you. Uh, Bato just shrugs and says, Oh, right, yeah, I've had this before, too. Alex! <laughs> uh, I oh, no, we're gonna have to wait until the future sessions to, in order for that little plot there to, to resolve. Ah! And, for, and for the one I had earlier, too. I'm on the floor. Basically, me and Bata both just hinted at things that we both did not figure out. Yeah, like, mine was at the pond and yours was right now. Yeah. Yeah, they've been talking a lot in the sidebar, and I'm like, mm -hmm. uh -huh. We don't want to interrupt everybody else. There's clearly story <laughs> stuff going on. We're not going to interrupt it. You guys, no, I'm... The thing is, this is what different... People taking turns with their conversations in front and center is all about. <laughs> ah! Not everybody's gonna read the sidebar. Okay, oh, so sidebar is that are. everything that it? Okay, I see that Phoenix is moving around. Is there yeah, something he's... going on? Ah, uh, he's pacing. He's okay, I, I can reiterate what was discussed in the chat. Um, let let Doggy answer, please. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I didn't nah, hear him, that's put... why. Yeah. Really? Nobody can hear me? I... Okay, I can hear you now. now. I don't know what's going on, dude. I can hear yeah. you. This is like the second time somebody can't hear me. Yeah, but, uh, Phoenix is just pacing around and being angry, so nothing else there. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Anybody else before we go to what's going on with Bata and Hoopla? Um, no. Can Pam roll a perception to see if she hears anybody still up? No, come on. I'm just. Uh, hey, she's the hall monitor. She gotta know. I hate to see the day she becomes bus monitor. Hmm. She's Mrs. Fine. Finster from Recess. <laughs> I'll do it with disadvantage. How about that? Okay. Disadvantage perception. <laughs> eh, not that great. So, eh. Yeah, that's a no. Okay. So oh, over we're to snoring grounds it out. We're gonna go over to to um to Fae Boy and Fairy Dragon. Okay. Uh, basically, Hoopla was having a really bad dream, and she kind of woke up with a start. Um. And then uh, I thought that, um, what is, and so far, I thought that something seemed a little bit off about that. But uh, apparently, as far as I'm aware, she is not lying. She just had a bad dream, even if um, it looked a little too real for from the outside. But I guess she is just having a bad dream. So, are you guys going to want to do anything else with that, or should we just move on? Move Genuine on. question. Um, do you... I, I think we kind of said everything we could for that scene re uh, as we have it now. Okay, so... We are going to go to the next day. It's early. It's early enough morning that there's no one else in the tavern. Hmm. Looking and brewing. <laughs> May I? Uh huh. 
You mess up the brewing, but I'm gonna say your cooking's passable? I'm gonna say that you're shaky because you know you're about to get on the carriage with the horse again. She just makes- she- she's like, I can't handle anything complicated. Here. Scrambled eggs, bacon, done. <laughs> I no complaints, dude! And oh. dirty bean water, aka coffee, for Hyacinth. I'll take it just dirty. to be nice. <laughs> dirty bean water. Blame Jacksepticeye for that. <laughs> it's better straight flopping water. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> also, yesterday please. you said so. Go ahead. Oh, wait, sorry, you were saying. I was just gonna have Tina say something, but it'll wait a sec. Dude! I think last night was the most peaceful I've slept in ever! It's like all the emotional baggage has been lifted off my shoulders and carted away with the karmic energy of the universe! That or I drank too much again. Whatever, whatever comes first. I think both. That's also an option. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yesterday you said something about visiting the apothecary for a stomach remedy? Yes, motion sickness remedy for, uh, you, Ronan. That way you don't get sick again and vomit up all your alcohol slash, well, what you need. I thought we weren't gonna name names! It was pretty and much round. given. It was pretty much given away when when Simon mentioned that alcohol makes you makes you motion sick. <laughs> By the way, dude, love the new insignia. What? <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Is quite the chaotic bunch you travel with. Oh, that actually reminds me. Uh, where would I find a fabric shop? Oh, oh. give me a break! Me a break. <laughs> 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 we do have a marketplace. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, she looks at Ronan. Bad, do you give her bad directions? Ronan, Not you said you wanted pants, and I shall- I can make you some. Clo now, Clo now, now, Simon, do I seem like the type who would give bad directions to someone? Si Simon just uh, just kind of grumbles into his food. I think that was a hesitant yes! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we needed to go to the apothecary anyways. Uh, may I, uh, and I have those good directions, please? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, she directs you, she gives you directions to the, um, to the market square. Okay. Um, I mean, the whole party can go if y'all want to. Yeah, I'll go. You know what uh, would be sure. great? Uh, <laughs> okay, if Hoopla is my voice, then I am her legs, and we are walking with the party. Uh, Phoenix is gonna stay behind with the horse. Okay. Uh, yes. Again. Uh, Ray kind of gives Phoenix a concerned look, but you know what? I'm gonna hang out with Spooky for a while. Alright. Okay, so you guys are most of you headed to the town square. Hmm. And immediately walks over to the first non fay he she sees and goes, Where's Fabric and the Apothecary? Uh the apothecary is its own building, but the fabric shops, um, 
it's over to the north side of the square. Right here, the striped yes. one? Yes. Excellent. And just scurries off without giving another look. I had <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronan, what color pants? Hmm. Some, something that says, I'm here to party, dudes! Love me. What uh, colors do they have available? Uh, let me double check my sheet here, because this is, actually is in the shop. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, wow. Uh, it doesn't say what colors, so I'm just going to say... I'm going to say... You can get dyed pretty much any way, any color you want, because I'm lazy. Okay. Uh, then I would like to purchase... She looks at Ronan. Up and down. I'm colorblind, there. dude. Pick it. Pick for me. Uh, Pick for me. I can't blue. look. Blue would look nice on him, I think. Blue. Uh... I didn't put the actual fabric in here. Ah, Ellie, you champion. <sighs> Hang on a second. Still got the catalog. And if, <laughs> and if you need a little oh, mm -mm, edge lower in the price, just call upon the Persuader Slayer. We already okay. have a discount over here. Yeah, you guys get 50% off of everything here. <laughs> <sighs> My talents okay. are not needed. You know what? Uh, what kind of material would you like? Uh, just something simple and sturdy. So, would you like canvas or... Cot um, cotton, linen. Cotton would cotton would be preferable. Okay. It's sturdy enough, but com but comfortable. Oh yeah, that's gonna be mercy on the long hikes, dude. Then one silver, please. All right. I would also like some more th thread and an extra set of needles. One copper for the four or five bone needles, or I can't really cut in half the one copper price. And um, one silver, five copper for the thread. All right, so that's two silver and five, an uh, eight copper total. Yeah. Brain, start working. Okay, five. Okay, got it. Okay, so... You have some cloth and about 30 th feet of thread and five bone needles. Beautiful. Okay. Must keep you all properly clothed because, well, if you guys get too cold, then... We're doomed. Well... Uh, okay, apothecary. the apothecary. Now where? Okay. Um, while you guys, while you two are handling that, you guys spot somebody familiar over at this particular stall. Hmm. Which you guys? Um, yeah. group A, uh, the ones you departed from. Yep, the ones we ditched. Okay. Okay. I was mesmerized by the thought of pants. <laughs> All right. Hoopla spots a study. Yeah. Is see where Hoopla's pointing? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Sadiq. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> Sorry. No, Bata would call him that guy. It's funny. It's that guy. <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh, yeah. Huh? Here's my only that guy, though. 
He, you see him talking to an older looking lady at the pro stall. At the what stall? Produce. The produce. Ah. All right. Hmm. Hey, weren't, hey, weren't we going to the apothecary or something? I'm taking care of it! Oh. Yeah, si si Simon kind of lowers his lowers his voice. Oh, really? It like, seems like more like you're get you're you're a little distracted at the moment. I want to get both. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So am I going? I'm going to the apothecary next, or are we? Uh, okay. Oh, uh, never mind. Who bought our Let's do stuff. We'll go to the apothecary in a minute. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, good morning. Good morning. I intended to meet you at the town gate. Oh, uh, yeah. What you doing here? Oh, I'm just helping Mineta set up for the, set up shop for the day before I depart. Ooh, what's in the uh, shop? Mostly some fruits and vegetables. Finest and fake keep. Hattie. Yup. Now, y'all must be some fake kids that Sadiq was telling me about. Well, he's the kid. I am a fairy dragon. <laughs> you look like a little kid to me, sugar. <gasps> uh, yeah, Hopeless Jaw's kind of on the ground right now. <laughs> it's, like she's a no, it's like she's a thousand years old and yet five years younger than me. It's weird. But it's really fun. <laughs> she just flies up and pups out her chest uh, right in front of the lady not to look intimidated just to be I'll have you know that I am very mature for my age and very much a full grown dragon and and those apples smell delicious <laughs> uh, the lady reaches over grabs one and tosses it to Hoopla <gasps> that's for helping out my that's for helping out my boy Sadiq Oh, Fanky goodness. needs more good. Fanky needs more good kids like you. I know some that. Another battle. <laughs> Sorry, that's like the fourth time I've interrupted you. It's, it's fine. It's like uh, uh, Hopeful just immediately just shoves the apple in her mouth so she doesn't get mad. <laughs> Name's Minetta, by the way. Me and my husband run Wendy Oaks Farms just outside of town. Is his name Big Mac? <laughs> I'm sorry, I am Big Micaiah. What would that now, name? Now, see, if we weren't recording, I would answer that. <laughs> but because we are. Okay, I just zoned out. What's happening? I'm sorry. Um, I'm being amused by Simon humming that shanty. Uh, yeah, I know, I got distracted by that too. <laughs> I know, Basically, just, I I just keep going, don't mind me. <laughs> I, looked in, I looked in the journal and saw that Mineta's husband was named Micaiah, and so Big Mac-Kiah. Yeah, huh. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about that until you said it. Anyways... Well, Mine well, Mineta, I will be off. I will try to keep my visit brief and return when I, as soon as I can. But I must check in on my family. Now, don't don't you worry about a thing, Sadie. Me and Mikai handle the farm while you're gone. You go take care of them them loved ones of yours, okay? With all them weird creatures that were running around, I'm surprised you didn't run off sooner. You and M you and Makai are very much my family, so I look out for all my kin. <laughs> now, ain't you sweet? Y'all take good care of my boy. You hear? Um, sure. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hoopla kind of looks solemn at that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Bob's a well, as he passes. Huh? Yes. 
No, no, he was just doing it in like a shrugging kind of way. Well, since we are already here, I see no reason. I see no reason to wait to to unite the whole party. So let us be off. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, and um, while y'all are gathering up, we're gonna. Where did I put that blasted map? <sighs> so prepared, Ellie was ready for anything. So now Ronan and Pan. I almost said Hyacinth. Ronan and Pan are. They are commonly paired together. <laughs> Ronan and Pan are at the apothecary now. Ooh, spooky dude. Hello, do you have a stomach remedy for motion sickness? For someone who's totally not me. The, the who... storekeeper. <laughs> or someone who is totally not him. <laughs> I think they bought it. <laughs> totally. Please, please, please stop. <laughs> You're gonna send me into a tickle. <laughs> damn it. Don't stop. Uh, no. Stop, don't come. You're down. not allowed. <laughs> You're not allowed. Okay. Um, if we kill so the shopkeeper the with laughter, do we get the thing for free? Screw you too. <laughs> okay. Um, she looks down at at the um tiny little woman, and recognizing you for who you are, she she reaches under um her counter and pulls out a bag of herbs. You take one of these, if you take one of these while you're on a carriage or a ship, they should help keep your stomach in check. Excellent. Thank you very and much. One and one, one bag holds about ten. Right. That should do nicely for a little while. Uh, how much? Um, one, si one silver per bag. I will take... Two bags. All right. All right. Okay. Now I gotta add all this crap to my inventory. Okay. So, bag I'm... of weeds. Bag of weeds. A bag of weeds. Everybody loves a bag of weeds. Okay. <laughs> my, oh my, my shop, bro. You've made a one righteous dater very happy today. Uh, too bad he is totally not in here. Um, <laughs> one, so... Uh, bags of stomach remedy. Bag of weeds, got it. So I, I'm just keeping it keeping funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so are y'all gonna, um, meet back up again? With everyone? Yeah. Okay, so... I thought ahead, clearly, so I'm just gonna take y'all to the Fake Keep map. Whee! Um, I'm gonna say y'all headed back to the stables to, um... catch up with Phoenix and Raymond. Uh, just to be clear, uh, um, Dog Eye, how do you say the name once more? Beauty. Beauty? T-U-T. Yeah, you can say T-U-T, because I know that it's just a little difficult. T-U-T. T-U-T. Got it. Yeah. Just think like a tweet. T-U-T. <laughs> T-U-T. T-U-T. Yeah. Mm -hmm. T-U-T. Also, Phoenix, Phoenix was kind of get, uh, raided and managed to get it out of him, but Phoenix is kind of upset because his mouth is literally made in a way that he can't pronounce certain words right, and... He struggles every day to make himself understood. Kind of like Aww. me, because my mouth is, you know, Northern European. It's <laughs> differently. So <laughs> both me and Phoenix struggle to speak English, or in his case, common. And then there's Hoopla and Ronan who can't bend for one word. So he's, want... he's kind of upsetting. I want you to hug, but I know you don't like those. 
How about boops? I will boop. Uh, boop the mask? <laughs> boop the it's mask. a sentiment. Oh. It, well, if any constellation, uh, or if it, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, you do speak English really well, in my opinion. If I can understand you, you're doing a good job. Put it that way. Uh, it's been a struggle. Okay, it's uh, it's honestly been a struggle for years. So, well, you're doing you're well, still, dear. You're doing very well. Just saying, you really are. You really are really good. Like I said, it's yeah. take, taken me like a five years to learn to get at this level. So. And Dude, he's... do you know how fast that is for learning another language? Mm -hmm. Really fast, yeah. And being as comfortable with it as you seem, as you give off. <laughs> and be able to write very well in it, with only just a few <laughs> grammatical corrections from me. To be fair, Doesn't... the confidence co comes from the lack of not caring anymore. Oh, I can't, well, I can't that's helpful. At all. I've tried. I, I physically cannot, but that's another story. Anyway. Yeah, back on track. Um, um, uh, Ray sees you guys come up, come up, and he's like, uh, "Yeah, um, I, I don't know what what's up with him, but he's kind of in a bad mood, and I can't figure out why." Is the horse around? Yeah, um, you're, you went to the stables. He. That, and Phoenix is brushing the horse's coat. Okay, Pan takes out some of the fabric and puts it over her head. <laughs> Somebody she please leave real... me. She is really phobic of horses. I think they um, are wonderful creatures, but I just cannot look at them. Uh, uh, Hoopla, hold her head. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, never mind. I won't. Aww. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, oh, the I mean how is can hold me and you can, like, sort of... That's adorable! I can't get it out of my head now. Like, Pan's just holding onto Hoopla's tail or something like that? No, we're holding hands! <laughs> oh. Hoopla's, like, walking on her hind legs. Yeah, Aww. And, I'm your hand. and it's okay. It's okay. Horsey is friend. Horsey friend. And do you want me to just leave you to the cart? Yes, please. The horse is okay. your bro. The and horse again, will not. Okay. Horses have almost killed me before. Horsey won't. <laughs> well, this this is a pretty relaxed horse. Really it is, but it, it's not that they were angry. It's just that they didn't see me. <laughs> That's Maybe why you get... must. Sorry, you go. Uh, uh, hmm. Well, maybe if you get to know this one more, it, it will learn to look for you and look down for you. Yeah. That we just put you on the highest part. Just put me in the cart for now, please. Actually, wasn't Phoenix the last one who didn't? Yeah, who didn't go? Oh, no, 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 I was talking to Dogi. Yeah, because I was talking about how almost all of my D&D characters currently have a pet of some sort. Aww. I think Phoenix was the last one who didn't. Uh, Louis is the last one. Ah, fair. Okay. Well, the horse is ready to go. Sadiq um, smiles at, you, at everybody. Shall we be off? Please. <laughs> uh, Phoenix actually <laughs> mounts the horse. He's gonna sit on his back. Fair this enough. Yeah. So pretty cute. This is adorable. Okay, so you guys. Look at my horse. I'm just, horse is amazing. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that rubber one. laughs>